Welcome. It's time for King of the Castle. I'm going to work with Chet, and sometimes against Chet, to work on my dynasty. We form a new. My monarch name, pretty straightforward. It's just gonna be Distant Cacophony over here. And my dynasty name is gonna be the Hiscreants. I am pretty comedic, thank you, thank you. Now we're going to choose three regions here. The Chiefs are honorable warriors. The Counts are ruthless aristocrats steeped in secrecy. And the Patricians are wealthy seafaring merchants. It looks like those are the groups you want to go for here. We begin. The Monarch. This is your Monarch, the streamer's character. <gasps> That's me. These are the kingdom stats up here on the top left. If any of them are zero at the start of a season, the game will end. As is tradition, the council will decide what happens at your coronation. But what? But it's my coronation. This isn't an absolute monarchy, your majesty. Everything has to be run past a council vote. Even this, certain choices will change stats. Some choices that do so will indicate this change here. These are the upcoming choices your nobles will vote on. Each of these may change stats in some way. What kind of coronation should be held for the new queen? We've got host a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine, invite foreign dignitaries and show off our wealth, throw the queen into the river? What? No! Outdated traditions, there's no need for coronation at all. I can choose this veto here and prevent you from throwing me into the river. just quietly in the background. That was me being thrown into the river in an alternate reality. The inviting foreign dignitaries and show off our wealth completely wiping the floor. <laughs> We're poor now. Uh, complete your ambition before a scheme or rebellion usurps you or before you lose all authority, treasury, stability. My question is this. When you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Uh, wait, farming? This sounds perfect for me. Now that you've played all events, advance the game by clicking end season. Each region will now vote for one of three randomly selected schemes. Oh, check, this is your turn. Schemes are made up of three stages with specific stat requirements. Passing all three scheme stages places the region's climate on the throne, winning the game. My fellow Counts, in ancient times, the East was its own proud kingdom. We bring back these days of glory, but not while the false queen, distant cacophony, wears the crown. So, you voted for intimidation. Raise others' defiance. The Counts plan to hold the queen hostage in her own palace. First, they must distract the spy master. To advance their schemes, the Counts must raise other regions' defiance to a combined total of at least six in the four seasons. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Well, Patricians of the Coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of Queen Distant Cacophony. Something must be done. Monopoly raise own trade. The Patricians plan to privatize this entire kingdom. First, they must build up their industry. To advance their scheme, the patricians must raise their trade to five or more in four seasons. Chiefs of the North, we all know I should be on the throne. Not this imposter queen distant cacophony. How do we make that happen? And look at that. Everybody says, yeah, let's rule with fists. Ragnarok, Ragnarok. The chiefs plan to make an alliance with the ice giants to take over the kingdom. First, they must not be weak, or the giants won't take their proposal seriously. To advance their scheme, the chiefs must raise their military to five or more in three seasons? B but the Counts of Patricians got four! Now we've got a couple of events we can go check out. I guess we'll start top to bottom and we'll head up into the north. Hi, Jinx! Your Majesty, this is an outrage. The caught 30 dancers trying to steal my 
bear from under my nose! It's not her bear. I was about to buy this beast from an adventurer in the Tetherlands when Chief Jinx the Sphinx turned up, shouting and raving about a, I don't know, Screenlord? Why, she's a magnificent specimen. She'd be a great addition to my menagerie. Well, everyone's voting that the Count should have the bear, so... The Counts excitedly purchased the bear for an, an extortionate amount from the Tatterlands adventurer, who can't believe their luck. Alright, hi Marshall. Now that you are queen, you need personal protection. Okay, but what about the palace watch? Uh, oh rah! They're just over there partying right now. And I'm just then sadly looking over. Her palace watch forever! God dang it, why do I even hire these guys? I'm too nervous about chiefs in the long term. I'm going to go with the knights, thank you. The commander introduces herself with a florid bow before reading out a poem she's written for the occasion. There once was a queen named Kako, lame duck on the throne who quackoed. Late in the night, the honor guard fight and her body was piled in a stacko. Nobles can use their wealth to bid on any building in any region. This is done through an auction where only the two most funded buildings are chosen. Hardcore in the Thieves Guild being built, so that will decrease their trade, but fortunately for the rest of us, for this fortress section, getting up more military, not exactly ideal. New oh, finding a spouse, I'm sprinting at it. In the twisty passages of your castle, you can avoid your advisors, the nobles, even the spy master, but there's one person you can't avoid. Your mother, no! Why haven't you found a spouse yet? It's been almost a year. Oh, Mom, I've been busy. I just got made the monarch. I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What is your preference? Just anyone. It doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, Mom, just you take care of it for me, okay? When Count Crowbold enters the council chambers, their clothes are stained and rumpled and their faces haggard. Oh, I should have known this would happen. I am utterly penniless. I beg for whatever spare coin the council can give. This seems kind of like your fault, Crowbold, spending all of your money in that last auction race. That wasn't, yeah, you shouldn't have spent it all then, you know? It's not exactly my problem as the queen of the kingdom. Noble patrician Chancy Bell is wealthy. They should help. I don't know how economy or politics work. I like the singular patrician. Voting tied. That means I have to break the vote. I'm picking the second one because I'm pro farming. Farm, 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 farm. Kant Crowbold returns to their keep where they start selling off farmland. Despite their current troubles, it turns out there's a seam of very fertile land on the edge of Kant Crowbold's estate, and several other counts are eager to take it over for themselves. <laughs> All right, up here. Wait, eligible options? Oh, that's for me. Do, 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 do. Hello, mother. Who have you found for me? Why, I have found three potential matches for you. One eligible young candidate from each of the kingdom's three regions. This is Finn. This is Desdomena. And finally, Petronella. What do you think? Wait a second. They have a laboratory. They can start making me some fertilizers and pesticides that I can put on my plants. Start working in that GMO crop. The GMO wife. I choose Desdomena. Excellent. I'll make the arrangements. Oh, well, in the meantime... Oh, look! It's Dirty Dancer again. Your Majesty, I fear our menagerie is failing to thrive. We thought the bear would be the star of the show, but she just sits in her enclosure looking sad. No one wants to see her. Of course she's sad. She's meant to roam the frozen tundra, not be harangued by your bats flying around her head. So, go ahead. Make your vote. <laughs> vote for Bearage. However, the chiefs are just all chanting, No! 
give us back the bear! The bear belongs to us! Hashtag free the bear! The Counts aren't too happy to have lost their star exhibit, but they console themselves with the fact that it turned out to be a pretty boring bear. The bear is transported once more, to the north this time. She's increasingly impatient, and eats one of her guards along the way. Oops! Far to the north, where snow blankets the landscape and wolves howl in the night, the chiefs plot to bring about the end of the world. Ragnarok. The ice giants are a formidable ally, but first, we must offer something that the giants desire. If we fill the kingdom with bountiful goods and plunder, the giants won't be able to resist. For the next stage of the chief's scheme, they must raise other regions trade to a combined total of 10 or more in three seasons. Oh. Oh. They've, um... Oh, they got that one done. Your wedding to Desdomena is, naturally, the talk of the kingdom. Do you take this woman as your lawfully wedded wife? I do. All right, now time to take care of the plague of rats down here. Count Corax's heart strides into the council chambers. The fields and barns of the east are overrun by vermin, and we've no more poison for these horrible things. We can't cope anymore. This means you could get pet cats. That means imagine you working there in the lab, your cool shoulder cat hanging out in there. <laughs> what? What the cats, dude? Found the patrician in the cat business. <laughs> I was a proponent for the cat option, but it, it was not the one that won. How are we to survive with these rodents crawling over everything? The rat's infestation rages through the east like fire through straw. Thankfully, there is enough food store safely that people do not starve. Far in the east, Count Rogue Nuggets is hosting a dinner party in his castle with a few distinguished guests. Hmm, thanks to our efforts, the spy master's focusing our attention on other regions. And while the cat's away, the mice shall play. Our next step is to replace the palace watch with our own agents. We already control the honor guard. If we can buy the loyalty of the watch, we will have complete control of the palace. For the next stage of their scheme, the counts must lower the treasury to 1500 or less in two seasons. In a dingy seaside tavern, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. The coast's economy has never been better. We're making more money than I know what to do with. Why, time to start buying things, of course. Land, roads, bridges. Oh, we'll buy up the whole kingdom, piece by piece. But first, the queen must be in desperate need of our gold. To advance the scheme, the patricians must lower the treasury to 1,500 or less in two seasons. Oh, no. It's both the patricians and the count's goal now. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, our wondrous bear is thriving in the north, your greatness. The god speakers have gained visions of new herbs and medicines ever since she arrived. The only thing is that uh, she's eating a lot. Our hunters have to push into the frozen wastes to find enough food to go around. Okay. Look, you guys wanted the bear back, right? It's your problem to deal with now. Fuck off. The chiefs dig into their deep stockpiles, living off fermented seal and dried fish for months on end. Their independence is a point of pride. The bear remains in the north, well-fed and happy. Your marriage to Desdomena has grown strong and steady, like an old castle wall. It's high time you thought about... There, yes, the GMO baby. But are we considering my wife and I having a child together like we are making our GMO lab baby in this situation? Is this where we get our GMO baby? Frankenstein's GMO baby, that's what I want. That's how I'm going to view the first option. I'll arrange for you to take a month off from ruling so you can <laughs> get down to business. You're aware of the ice giants, I hope. Brutish creatures that live in the frozen wastes beyond our northern borders. 
In a time before time, they ruled the North and kept people as slaves. The chiefs are willing to let bygones be bygones. They're forging an alliance with the giants to bring your kingdom down. <laughs> My intelligence suggests that the chiefs have offered up the kingdom as plunder for the giants when the time comes. It's not often I say this, but the kingdom's strong economy is a problem. All right, guys, we're building the wall. Work on the so-called distant cacophonies wall begins right away. There's no time to waste. The chief's stat goal will not be evaluated until the end of next season. Your Serene Highness, those damn chiefs are up to their old tricks. The chief Neveth 99 has been leading his warriors and raids into my lands. I was bored, okay? How dare you accuse me of something like that again and it's my ex you'll answer to. That's okay, we're just gonna yell at Patricia and Shakero about making accusations. By all that glitters, you want Ruth? Is my word as Lord Patricia not enough? Chief Jinx, the Sphinx, and her fans have locked themselves in their lodges and are refusing to come out. They say they're learning the ways of this Corinorn. Honestly, I want to see what B does. You want to know about the knowledge. Slime just wants to know the knowledge on the bear. They love bear facts. Nah, just go and send the, the, what, the church missionaries or whoever down there, okay? They hate bear facts. Let us share our knowledge of the bear! I am on the side of bear facts, too. Being honest, I want to know more about the bear facts. When the chiefs emerge from their lodges, they find the chancellor waiting. They reluctantly agree to spread word of what they learned from their visions. As the rest of the kingdom puts their visions into practice, the crops flourish. Yes! This is a win for me! Look at that increase! Woo! Queen Kako comes out on top! Woo! Yahoo! Now, what's happening over here where it's real cold? Shy Guy steps out. Burr, the eastern winter has been especially cruel this year, your highness. I can still feel it in my bones. Send food to build eastern stockpot. Oh. Uh oh. Because I just watch everybody vote for the 1500 treasury, except for the northerners. I love that just King over here is like, no, fuck him. I'm not going to go over there and help those guys. They suck. They tried to take our bears at a point in time. I hate those guys. Well, there goes my money. The treasurer arranges for huge wagons of grain, fruit, vegetables, and meat to be sent to the east. As they roll in, peasants cheer weekly before hurrying back into their houses to shelter from the wind. You got so darn cold, you were trying to warm things up, and just boom, everything's up in flames. Lollafell comes sauntering out. Your Majesty, there's been a terrible fire in the city of Candon. A cow kicked over the lantern, your grace. Yeah, yeah, some milkmaid was burning the midnight oil and must have unexpectedly cold hands, you know? I don't think that's true. This sounds like a lie, Lollafell. I was hoping that the council might unlock some funds from the treasury so we could rebuild. You want me to do what now? I can't. I can't do it. The counts are kind of greedy. They just got 1500 now they're asking for more. 23 nobles voted for offering no help. Oh, Seven, take us! What is the point of having a queen in the first place? Dude, I just paid off the cold people, though. Oh, Luck is with us, my friend. The palace watch are in our pocket. But now, we must plan our next steps. Now your goal is assassination, then. Over the next few months, we'll have our troops infiltrate the capital, disguised as beggars. They'll swap places with the palace watch, one by one. United with the Kurin forces will be unstoppable. For the final stage of their scheme, the counts must raise their military to at least seven. To 
What do I owe this pleasure, Madame Treasurer? Where do I sign? Was that the royal treasurer you were speaking with? Indeed, my friend. Good news. With the queen's gold running out, the treasurer was willing to sell off the kingdom's roads and bridges. What will we do when we own everything? Wow! Corporate mascot! Keko branding! Turn her into a marketable plushie! Funko Keko! No! We just need to make sure the kingdom's in a nice, comfortable rut. For the final stage of their scheme, the patricians must raise stability to at least eight. Back in the north, Chief Spud Wizard is hosting yet another feast at their clan hall. Were those ice giants I saw on my way through your lands? Your eyes don't deceive you, lass. They'll be marching with us come tomorrow. Oh, the gods are good. But what happens after the ice giants march? Let the ice giants fight alone and swoop into the kingdom's rescue. Lower the authority. The queen must be too weak to mount a response. If all the regions united, the giants could be thrown back into the north with ease. So for the final stage of their scheme, the chiefs must lower the authority to four or less. Basically, everybody needs to change their chosen stat by two in order to win here. How's this proof? The proof of Chief Neveth's raids on my lands. What? That could be anybody's ex. I could buy a dozen like it down at the blacksmith's down the street. You asked for proof and I got you proof. I demand the council act. Have both of them arrested for being annoyed. God damn it. The count's just constantly watching these extremely wealthy patricians get raided by the poor northerners. And they're like, make them stop. And then the counts are like, oh my god, fucking... Voting has closed. Gods be good. This is a total overreaction. Oh, what do you think will happen with the northern and coastal soldiers guarding the same border? This could lead to civil war. But despite Chief's misgivings, no major incidents are reported. At least, not at first. Uh-oh. One or more regions are able to rebel as their defiance stat is higher than both authority and stability. Here you go. You need at least eight votes to start a rebellion. Your quest for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council, holding a small child in your arms. Oh, I got my GMO, baby! Should I die, I ask that my crown be passed down to... The distant cacophony the second! I got no... No, listen here, it's a great name, I promise you. I named my kid Distant Cacophony 2. It's, it's auction time. The two buildings that got put up this time. A fortress increasing the Count's military. One away from the win now. And the theater decreasing my authority. One away from the win there. But before they have a chance to rebel. Your troops started it. No, yours did. They threw stones. These two again? And your soldiers responded with arrows. We need to stop this from happening again. There we go. 27 votes there at the top. Have Eastern troops guard the border instead. What? You want to do what? You want to do what? You want to do what with us? Up there, everyone hated that. The council has spoken, dude. Uh uh oh, counts. This was not a good option for you, counts. Surprise! You just lost two points in military. A giant glass globe filled to the brim with murky water is wheeled before the council. The fishbowl contains Lord Patrician trail mix without ums and ums suspended in liquid. He pokes his head above the surface. I have been cursed by a sea wizard. So, uh, all right, Diplomat is off to go talk about reversing this curse then. I liked it better when we had no events. Soon enough, the sea wizard appears before the council. I don't curse for nothing. I'm paying him. 
Lord Patrician appears in the council hall a few days later, back to his old self. Oh. And here after I just spent 1,000 gold on you. Patricians, what the frick? Oh. At long last, the Patricians have reached their boiling point. You are confronted in your throne room by Lord Patrician Leaping JJ. The Patricians of the coast will bring you down, pretender of the throne. This is a formal declaration of war. The next time we see each other will be on the battlefield. So, what of our chances against the rebels here? Pretty good. The Patricians aren't exactly a military powerhouse. I hope they don't persuade any other region to join their rebellion. That would be disastrous. I can't wait. I'll go dig out the trebuchets. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Uh, and now the giants kill us. Bad news here. Even though both the Counts and the Northerners have an opportunity to rebel, I'm sorry, there's not, there's not any point of it. It's another day of poring over maps and battle plans with your marshal. It's hard to remember the last time you did anything else, and yep, just when you thought things couldn't get any worse. Ice Giants! They've entered the Crownlands just last night, according to my scouts. And the Chiefs, they've abandoned us. This must have been their plan all along. But what about the wall? Frankly, your majesty, it wasn't finished. Something like that takes time, and what if the chiefs open the gates for them anyway? Now I fear we have but one last chance to save the kingdom. Lord Patrician Genderafix and the rebels may just to agree to a truce. If we're invaded by ice giants, there won't be a kingdom left for anyone. Okay, I fetch the chancellor then, the ninth preserve us. When the patricians finally arrive, they bring a whole battalion, clearly fearing a ruse. I'm surprised you came calling for us. You must be desperate. Now we will marshal our forces and before he can say more, a horn sounds in the distance. All heads in the room swivel towards the source of the noise. Giants are outside your walls, and they have already demolished any soldiers they see. Lord Patrician Jinjera thinks his mouth opens in stunned silence as he realizes his military has been decimated. Oh, your, your majesty, the chiefs, they've come to save us. You rush out of the palace with your honor guard in tow to see for yourself. Yes, to save you. Ha 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 ha. Climbing the outer battlements, you're met by an incredible sight. The giants are fighting with their backs to you. They aren't fighting your watch, no. They're fighting a horde of battle-painted northern warriors! The battle is quick and bloody. The giants are slaughtered, but not without inflicting heavy casualties to the chief's forces. Huh, your greatness. What a glorious battle. Lucky we turned up when we did, eh? Well, we helped the capital and the kingdom, but only because you failed to do so. Just, you know, thinking out loud, but maybe it's time someone else took over? Someone who doesn't buckle at the sight of a few lumbering giants? What do you think, your majesty? I know a certain chief who'd be happy to take the burden off of you. Harley is their name. No! Go to hell! Chief Spud Wizard snarls, and before you know it, an axe is flying at your face. You duck, and just in time, as the axe sails over your head and strikes one of your honor guard. Kill them! Capture the queen! Your eastern knights put up a noble defense, but the northerners are not only more numerous, but more ferocious. They throw themselves at your knights without care for their own lives, and the honor guard are completely overwhelmed. You're left until the end so that Chief Spud Wizard can gloat one final time. You southerners just never get it, do you? You'll never rule the north, no matter how many centuries it takes will always be its true masters. And now, thanks to you, the entire kingdom will be ours. A worthy gift of gratitude for our destruction of the ice giant threat. I hope you choke on it. <laughs> huh. Strong words from a dead woman. A shame no one was around to hear them. The gore-covered axe rises, hovers for one agonizing moment, then falls. <laughs> the chiefs are victorious. Chief Spud Wizard's ex brought a chapter of history to a close. Historians write that the ice giants, not the traitors, slew Queen Distant Cacophony. The Counts attempt 
to worm their way into the palace was uncovered, and a number of arrests were made. Count Rogue Nuggets ended his life chained upside down to a dungeon wall. And the patricians, led by Jander Fix, launched a rebellion that accomplished nothing besides distracting the queen while cunning schemers took the throne. Once the war with the ice giants was won, the chiefs were heralded as the saviors of the kingdom. Harley was crowned amid much pomp and ceremony. Any whispers that the chiefs had arranged the giant attack were quashed with extreme prejudice. Monarch stats. Queen distant cacophony, giant food. That's what I ended up as. And there we go. Hey, thanks for watching my entire video. It was all recorded live on my Twitch channel. I stream every weekend, starting at 10 a.m. Central. You can also watch the full recording of the stream on my YouTube VOD channel. Thanks. Enjoy.